We're facing unprecedented times. Uh, I've never experienced anything like this in my lifetime. And I know the public health crisis is confronting uh, the leadership of, of just about every congregation with a difficult decision about what to do, uh, how, how to respond to what's happening in the culture. Uh, and especially with regard, I think a lot of attention has been focused on corporate worship and how to handle that. Uh, let, let me just say there's some things I want you to consider. Uh, even if God's people are not able to meet for corporate worship, there are some things that we can do uh, with regard to personal ministry. We can, we can continue to practice our faith in a, very meaningful, uh, in a very meaningful way. I want to encourage you to be especially thoughtful for those uh, or of those that are, that are elderly. Uh, we, we are blessed to have a, a good number of older Christians in our, in our church families. Uh, let's be mindful, not just of the elderly, those who are widows and widowers, those who have chronic illnesses. Uh, for many of these people that are at risk, uh, we need to be mindful, not just with regard to uh, the decisions we make about corporate worship. Let's, let's take the time to make sure uh, that these people that, that cannot get out at this time, that we're reaching out to them, make sure that we can help them. Uh, with a variety of needs, their groceries, um, prescriptions that they might need. Uh, one of the things that has really encouraged me, the people that I've talked to the last couple of days, uh, some of the older members of our church family, is to hear the glowing report they're doing well. Uh, their children and their grandchildren are tending to their needs. And, and what a great expression of our faith uh, to, to hear that in times like this, we are caring for one another. Uh, we are ministering to one another, and I want to continue to encourage that kind of behavior. I know uh, some of our members have been calling every day asking, what can we do uh, for members of our congregation that are elderly, uh, that, that are sick? How can we serve them? How can we meet their needs? Some of our teenagers ha have volunteered to deliver food and groceries uh, to those who are shut in, uh, to those that, that for obvious health reasons should not expose themselves uh, to this deadly and dangerous virus. Uh, along with some of the personal ministry, I, I want to remind you there are ways that we can stay connected even if, if you are unable to attend corporate worship. Uh, as long as we continue to meet here at North MacArthur, we, we and many other congregations are involved with live streaming. And so you can go to the website at northmac.org during any of our public meeting times, you can watch the live stream of Bible classes uh, and, and, uh, and sermons and worship services. Uh, I know that uh, our youth minister, Jeremy Roberts, is going to provide some online resources for youth and family. Uh, we, if we're unable to meet, we, we hope to do some uh, Facebook Live events where we continue to uh, engage the members of the congregation in spiritual discussions uh, devotional thoughts and Bible study. And, and then we just want you to be aware of some of the online resources that are available. Uh, if you go to um, uh, www, it's uh, affirmingthefaithok.com and go to the schedule of this year's Affirming the Faith, click on any title and you can listen to the audio uh, of some excellent lessons. All of them are focused on the Sermon on the Mount. In fact, uh, all of the lessons over the past 13 years of Affirming the Faith. The audio versions are available uh, at our Affirming the Faith website. You can go to YouTube and look for North MacArthur Church of Christ. Uh, if you search North MacArthur Church of Christ on YouTube and then click on videos, uh, not only do we have some of the, uh, the videos of uh, classes and lectures from our recent uh, Affirming the Faith event, uh, all of the archive sermons and Bible classes uh, are uh, are available there uh, since we started doing live stream here at North MacArthur. Many other congregations are doing the same thing. Uh, along with that, obviously, we're, we're doing God a Minute in these one-minute videos. You can go to youtube.com slash C slash God a Minute with a question mark. Uh, and if you go to that site, I've posted probably over 100 uh, brief videos, a minute to two minutes, uh, all of them, uh, not, not as long as this one, obviously, uh, but you could use them as devotionals, family devotionals, discussion starters, uh, watch them, discuss the, uh, the content, pray together. Listen, there are a lot of things that we can do during this time that will honor God, that will magnify Christ, that will help us uh, to be a good example to others, that, that the light of Christ, the love of Christ can be seen 
uh, in the way that we respond uh, in moments like this and the way that we love and serve one another. Um, you are the light of the world. Uh, you are the salt of the earth. Keep, keep shining for Jesus and just know this, uh, in the darkest times, the light of Christ shines a brightest uh, through your godly example. Uh, just know that your church family loves you, that we're praying for you, and that uh, we're asking God to give us wisdom, courage, and guidance in the, these difficult times. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, just know that we, we love you and we're praying for you.